A lot of people have a lot of ideas of ways to use AI, but I'm gonna be honest, a lot of them are just a waste of time or straight up impractical. One use case though, that is tried and true and really necessary for any business is a lead generation agent that sits on your website and runs the front end of your business while you sleep. I'm talking lead qualification, answering any questions, suggesting products or resources, and collecting contact information for follow-ups. This is a very common common use of AI. So there are a lot of platforms out there already for you to build these kind of agents. The problem is most of these platforms are straight up just not good. So you might as well just build the agent yourself with something like N8N or Langchain instead. They just aren't good enough and don't provide you the customizability that you really need. However, there are definitely some platforms out there that you're going to want to check out before you just go ahead and build a lead gen agent yourself. And I'm going to show you today an example of one of these platforms called Chatling. I'll show you with Chatling how you can build a full lead generation agent suited to your needs that is going to be sitting on your website and qualifying your leads and answering any questions that they have with a RAG knowledge base. I am stoked to show you this. When we go through it, you'll really see what I mean when I say that building this kind of agent yourself is not trivial. You can really use Chatling to build the perfect lead gen agent for your business. So without further ado, let's dive in. So to get started with Chatling, all you have to do is go to chatling.ai and then click on start for free. There is a really generous free tier that they offer so you can build a couple of chatbots and have dozens of conversations with them to really make sure that the lead gen agent you can build on the platform suits your needs. But I'm pretty confident it will because I've been on this platform building a couple of agents already and it has been working beautifully for me. So once you are signed in, you're going to be brought to a dashboard that looks like this. They have a lot of resources here on the left-hand side for you. A couple of things I want to call out really quick is they have API documentation. So you can literally manage your agents and your knowledge bases and your conversations and everything through the API. And they have a roadmap where you can see all the things that they are currently building for the platform, suggestions that they're taking in, and you can submit your own suggestions as well when you sign in. And so this is a really evolving platform. It's something important that I wanted to call out. Uh, but we are here to actually build a lead gen agent. So let's go ahead and do that now. To create your agent within your project, all you have to do is go to the top My Agents tab and then click on Create Chatbot. And there are going to be three options that you are presented with here. You can build an AI chatbot which is going to be more of like a basic chatbot that isn't necessarily geared towards lead generation. A basic lead generation chatbot, which is going to not leverage AI, so just be more like standard questions that you would answer. Or you can have a lead generation plus AI chatbot that is going to actually have more of an intelligent interaction with the user as you are qualifying them and giving them any kind of recommendations and things like that. You can also start from scratch if you want. And so these are all just templates, but I would honestly suggest go going with this template right here. That's what I started with and it really helped me get a good understanding of Chatling very, very quickly so that I could build my lead gen agent in just minutes. And so I already have one built. So I'm gonna go reference this so that you can see in a much smoother way how I set everything up. Because if I build it from scratch, it'll probably take a lot longer. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this lead gen chatbot that I've already built and tested. And I will go to the first tab that we want to care about here, which is the builder. This is going to be your node workflow builder, kind of similar to something like vector shift or voice flow. If you've heard of those platforms where you have a start to your workflow, this is when the message first comes in. And then you do everything that we see right here that I'll explain in a little bit that then leads to the very end of the workflow right here. And that is when your chat within the widget actually ends. And so this entire workflow represents an entire conversation. And we have things like looping here to make it so that we can ask any number of questions to our agent um, so that the users can get the answers that they need. All right, so before I start showing you the chatbot that I built, I want to talk a little bit about how you actually build your workflows within Chatling. So any kind of action you want to take or user input you want to handle, an HTTP request you want to make for a custom agent, anything that you want to do in Chatling, you do it with the widgets that you have here on the left-hand side. So I'm going to start by going to the blocks here because this is where you perform all the actions that I'll show in a little bit here, um, like sending a message, a hard coded message, or getting an AI response or putting buttons on the widget for the user to click. And so, for example, if I want to just send a hard coded message at the start of a conversation, I'll take the text block here, drag it in, and then drag the start to this new block. And then I'll enter in something like, hi, there we go. All right. So I can save this bot now. 
and then click on preview bot. And then this conversation is going to begin right away with the bot saying, hi, it's nice and simple. And so then I can go on to capture text as well. So I can have this within the same block here. So it'll say hi and then wait for the user response. And I can put that in a new variable. Um, like I could say user response and then create a new variable. And then I can use this later on in another node that I would connect for the second node here. And so I could say something like an AI response. I can drag this in right here. And I can say that that question is, um, I can say user asked, let's say user question, or let me scroll down, user response right here. Uh, and then boom, we now have our prompt for the AI. So that is how you set up custom variables and how you connect the nodes together. Anything that you wanna do, you're gonna do it within the blocks here. And there's so many things you can do here like HTTP requests or sending an email or doing conditions to handle different types of responses from users. Uh, you can have buttons here um, for things like when you want them to just say yes or no, whatever that might be. Uh, you can view all your variables on the left-hand side, set your configuration for your AI, like their knowledge base or the settings, which includes what model you use. There is so much customization here and things you can do. You can set up your workflows to do essentially anything that you could want. So starting right off the bat, we have our greeting here. And you'll see this in the template as well if you load it. And it really makes it clear how we have the different stages of our conversation. Within the greeting here, we have this block where we display an image. And then we have two different messages here. So each one of the elements that you put within in one of these lighter gray boxes here is going to be a individual message that is sent in the chat widget to the user. So first we send an image, which I just have this blank right now, but I'm just having this here to show that you can start off with an image like your logo or something like that. And then we'll send a couple of greeting messages that come one at a time into the chat platform when the user first opens it up. And then we ask them a question. And so as an example for this lead gen chatbot, I'm just gonna be an AI consulting agency. So this is kind of the services I offer actually, um, where I have like, you know, solution development, one-on-one -on -one consulting, pre-made agents, all this good stuff. And so we ask the user, which one of these are you interested in? And again, this is just an example. You can very easily see how you could fit this to your own needs and changing up all of the wording and the options here. And so once they select one of these options, and I'll show a demo of this in a little bit, it's gonna be fed into a variable. So one thing that's really neat within Chatling is any of the inputs or outputs from any of these widgets here can be put into a custom variable that you set up. So in this case, the user's choice is put into selected service name as a variable. And then we're gonna actually reference that and then prompt to the large language model in the next node. And so we say the lead is interested in this service and then follow up with them with a couple of questions that will help us understand their needs more. And so we prompt the user through a message and then we capture their output and we put that in the first question answer variable. And so now we're gonna use that in the next node as well. So we're constantly capturing what the user says and including that in the next prompt so that our agent actually has context around what the user is saying so we can qualify them better and answer their questions better. And so in the next prompt, I'm just going to say here that um, there kind of is conversation history, so I don't necessarily have to include all this information here, but I just want this to be nice and robust. So I, I again repeat the service that they're interested in, and then I tell them what has happened in the conversation so far. Like the user responded with this to your questions that you asked, and now follow up with one more question. So this is just an example of how you can have a little bit of a qualification process here where you have just a couple of questions that you want to ask the user to understand their needs more. And again, we'll capture their text and this time put it in a variable called second question answer. And then we go on to a prompt here where we thank them for answering our questions. So this is kind of the end of this little demo qualification process. And now we wanna ask them if they have any questions. And so we throw that in the chat there. And then instead of asking them for free form input, we're going to have a couple of buttons here. And like, these are the kind of things that you can't just implement in N8N really easily. You can't just have these kind of like multi-select options and all this looping and stuff within the N8N chat widget. This is really something that is more robust that a platform like Chatling can provide you. So the user will select here whether or not they have questions. And if they don't have any questions, then we'll go on to the part where we collect their contact information. So we'll actually collect their name and email, and that's gonna be stored within a contact record in Chatling, which is super cool. Um, and then if they do actually have questions, then we'll go to the next stage where we prompt them 
to ask a question, and then we'll answer it based on our RAG knowledge base. And I'll show that in a little bit as well. And so we'll answer their question and then loop back and ask if they have a question again. So you can repeat this process over and over to make sure that you answer all the questions that this lead has so that they're already qualified and now they're happy with their answers and you've got yourself a good lead. And then finally, they'll select no at some point, and then we'll collect their contact information and say thanks, include their name, and then you'll get back to them soon or whatever that this message is. All this is very, very customizable. This is just a simple demo that I built for you to understand the robustness of Chatling. And so I'll click save and I'll demo this in a little bit here, but I want to quickly show the knowledge base and some of the customizations for the appearance as well. And so going on to the next tab here for the knowledge base, it is really, really neat because there are a few different resources that you can use that you can ingest for your rag. So the first thing is you can just give it a link. Which is super cool. So if I click on new data source in the top right here, I can give it a website link. So it'll crawl the website and take all this information and add it to its knowledge base. Uh, you can also do a site map, which is really, really good for something like an e-commerce store because it could literally go through all the URLs for your different products and understand every single one of them to answer questions about any of your products. Really, really powerful. You can also do a custom URL list, up to 2,000 links you can include for RAG. You can upload documents. You can include just raw text if you just want to freeform whatever you want to be in the knowledge. And then what I did here is I had a list of FAQs. And so I just have a question answer repeated many, many times to answer common questions about my AI consulting services. So I can kind of just show you that really quick. My knowledge base right here, it's just really basic. I have three FAQs where I just answer a few common questions. And this works really, really well. Like when someone asks, you know, something related to what um, is entailed within my one-on-one -on -one consulting sessions, the answer will match this very, very well. Um, so I've been really impressed. Um, and then the last thing I want to show before we demo this is the appearance. There are so many things that you can do to customize your chat widget to actually match your branding. And that is super important and something that is missing from building these widgets within N8N or other platforms where you can build these kind of lead gen agents. And so, yeah, it's really cool. All of the options you can have for styling and, you know, like changing the image that you see for the person, for the AI. Um, so yeah, I just love that. Um, and then you can also see all the conversations that are happening with your bot right here, um, which is really cool. And it'll even tie it to the user. We can have like their email and phone and all that saved. And so it's almost like a CRM where all the people that come in and fill out the form and interact with your agent are available to you to then follow up with when they put in their contact information, like I showed at the end of my workflow which is so, so cool. Um, and then what we can now do is actually embed this into our website. And the way that we do that is with the website widget integration. It also integrates with Zapier if you use that. I really wish they had N8N uh, as well, but you could integrate with Zapier for when they fill out contact information. But for embedding this on your website, there are three different options. You can have a floating chat where it's like that little widget in the bottom right that someone clicks on very common on websites, or you can have it inline or full screen. So it's actually a part of your web page itself and not just a floating widget. Um, and so for my example right here, I'm actually going to just show the floating chat because that's really the most common. So you just click on this option right here and then you take the script tag that you can embed into really any website builder. So they have a couple of different integration guides for things like Shopify or WordPress or Wix. Um, but really you could do this with go high level. You could have this in a custom Next.js site, just anywhere. You can embed this kind of script tag here. And so I'm going to copy this. And then I'm going to go into an online HTML editor because I'm just going to show you that you can literally do it anywhere by just doing it in an online HTML editor. Because if I can show you, you can do it here. Hopefully that'll prove that you can do it literally anywhere. So I'm going to paste in this script code right here, run it. Um, and then sure enough, I got this chat widget now that I have in the right side. All right, so I moved myself over to the left so that we can see this whole chat here. So like I showed earlier in the workflow, it starts with these specific messages that are sent out to the user. And then it asks a question where we click on one of those buttons to say which service we are interested in. So I'm gonna say I'm interested in one-on-one -on -one consulting sessions. And then it's gonna go to my model, which I selected GPT-40 mini in this case. I'll actually show that really quick here, um, just so you can see where to set that. So if I go into the builder here, and I click on the settings and go to the um, settings for my AI. My model is GPT-40 mini, and you can even set the model individually within these specific nodes or just use the global, which would be set to what I had here, which is GPT-40 mini. 
And so going back to the, the chat here, it generates a couple of questions just like I told it to. And so I can give some answers. So I'm going to pause and come back when I have these answers. All right, so nice and simple. I just said I am looking to build a sales agent that qualifies my leads and has knowledge of my products. I have an e-commerce business selling sports clothing. So I'm going to give the answers here. And it's now going to follow up with one last question because that's exactly what I set up in my workflow. So there we go. Thank you for sharing. One more question. What are the specific criteria or questions that you want your sales agent to use when qualifying leads? It's honestly a really good question. And you can leave this up to AI to generate, or you could be more specific in the prompt for what kinds of questions. The power is in your your hands with the chat link here. So I'm going to pause and come back again when I've typed out my answer here. All right, so I typed out just some kind of random here. I just say I want to know uh, what the lead is interested in buying and what sports they play. And so this is the last question that my agent will ask. And then it's going to ask me if I have any questions. So there we go. Thank you for answering my questions. Do you have any others? So right now I'll say yes, I do. And um, I'm just going to ask a question that I know needs to be answered through the RAG knowledge base. And so what questions do you have for me? I'll say what is involved in the one on one sessions. All right. And so now it should pretty much take what I have in the FAQ because the question pretty much matches exactly with what we have in RAG. And sure enough, it is a consulting session. It is a hour long focuses on questions you have about integrating AI in your business. If you're interested in having multiple sessions, we'll dive into specific AI solutions you are building. This is exactly right. And it doesn't just do it word for word either. It really customizes it to the conversation, but this has exactly the information that I put in uh, for rag there. So this is awesome. So I'll say, I don't have any more questions. So I'll say no here. And then now it'll say, perfect, we'll be in touch. And it just wants a name and email. So I'll say, my name is Colmadine. My email is Colmadine at yahoo.com. All right, boom, boom. And there we go. I will get back to you soon. All right. And that is the end of the chat. And that works so, so good. And so I'll even go back into here. We'll check out this conversation that we just had. So you can see, here we go. This is exactly what we had. One-on-one -on -one consulting sessions, a sales agent for qualifying leads. All right. All right. Looking good. And we also have their contact information. So it's kind of like a CRM here. Um, yeah, it's just working so, so well. And one thing that I want to call out, let me go back to the workflow here. This is just like the last golden nugget that I want to give you is when you're creating these pipelines here, it is so, so easy to customize things as much as you could possibly need. When you go into the blocks here, you can send messages, you can send images as a message or audio, um, and you can have like conditions here, if statements that will send different things based on responses. You can even have an HTTP request. And so you can include your like headers and body. So if you have like API keys or query parameters, you can hook into any API you could possibly need. So if you have some custom agent that's hosted with like N8N or LangServe, you could interact with that as a part of this workflow. And it can be like a specific part of the conversation too. So like literally any customizations that you would need, you were able to do it with something like an HTTP request. And there's just, yeah, so many options here. Um, there's even like Zendesk integrations. It's so, so cool. Um, and you have like all the variables that you can manage here on the left-hand side as well. So it's just super, super robust. Any kind of agent that you'd want to build for lead generation, you can do it in Chatling. I truly hope that at this point you can see the usefulness of using a platform like Chatbling to build powerful and customizable agents for your website for lead generation. This is especially useful if you run a sort of business like an e-commerce store, an agency, or a consulting business. You're a busy person and you don't have the time to build this kind of robust agent for lead generation, and so it makes sense to use a platform like Chatling. On top of this, you don't really lose out on any customizability, and it's not like you would need the solution to be local anyway, because this kind of front-facing chatbot is not going to have any private data. So if you appreciated this content, I would really appreciate a like and a subscribe. And with that, I will see you in the next video.